Hello. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the Oracle Analytics Cloud and Platform. The Oracle Analytics Cloud Platform consists of two, few, uh, two consists of a few things: a state-of-the-art data visualization tool that includes machine learning algorithms, mobile support, and remarkable data management that powers it all. This works with any analytics tools that you may have already including MS, Excel, Tableau, and Power BI. This demo will be about 20, 12 minutes and consists about three parts. I'm flexible. You can spend more time or less if you prefer. I will use data from eBusiness Suite to demonstrate both standard period end analysis and ad hoc financial analysis. In particular, we will solve a problem with both visualization and machine learning using real-time operational data alongside extracted data sets. Does either periodic or ad hoc interest you more than the other? And what are you looking to see in this analysis? Lastly, I'll show you you can share the results with a wider audience. Ultimately, we want you to understand how you can speed up your entire workflow connect more data sources, do your own data preparation, and manage your own extracts in order to be more effective in influencing business decisions without IT assistance. This is the core value of what we're discussing. Make you able to curate and get value from the data because of the Oracle Autonomous Database. In this section here, I'll show you the Oracle Analytics Cloud. So let's get started. First thing I'd like to show you how easy it is is to connect your data. First thing you'll do is click on Create, and you'll have a menu with connections. You'll click on Connections, and you can choose a wide variety of ready-to-use Oracle and non-Oracle data sources. You can see the connections, popular clouds such as Amazon, Dropbox, Salesforce, as well as on-premise solutions like Quartan Network's SQL Service. Since you use Oracle eBusiness Suite, the Oracle Applications Connector is the one for you. You just apply the credentials and you're ready to go. In today's demonstration, demonstration project, I've already established connections, so we'll skip this for now. So... In this case, we'll go to our tabs. On the bottom here, these are our various tabs. And in this case, we are connected to the Oracle eBusiness Suite, showing a rich dashboard of financial data. In this page, the Corporate Financial Overview, the Finance 360 tab, is an example of visualizing and filtering data. There are several tabs along the bottom of the display that reveal key business metrics like revenue, budget variance, credit availability that we will look at momentarily. For now, the Finance 360 tab reveals that the visualization experience is more than just displaying a fully configurable customized graphs. It will also allow you to drill into the data. So in the ocean on the map graph, this makes sense there. Let's look at the interactive map. Let's uh, click on France here. By selecting country on the map, it automatically filters the data. All the other graphs on the page too as well. Click on another one. It will also change the various data and metrics. <laughs> And we can combine filters. <clears throat> Let me show you.
So we just click on the bar chart here and we can use this as filter. And it will automatically filter um, and change the way you see the data. This is a powerful data interaction experience. You can drill into every data element. You can use visual techniques everywhere. But we will quickly show you some other ways to view data. So we'll click on the revenue tab. This shows the summary of the corporate revenue for FY 2018 broken down by product category up top here left, where it has been sold up the right, sales overall on the bottom left here, and by month. So we can click on the printers category. And by choosing printers, you see all the charts filtered to that information. Your productivity and insight can be improved not by just reporting this information, but interactively exploring it. So as we click through all these things, we can see lots of the data changes. filters. It's pretty cool. Probably help you work a lot more efficiently. So let's click on the key budget variances tab. Likewise, the key budget variances tab shows key operational performance across the business. So let's talk about ad hoc analysis. So let's talk about the problem setup. Let's say you are challenged to identify ways to help sales sell more. From the financial perspective, a logical place to start is to check whether customers are taking advantage of credit lines that they have. To, to understand the customer's credit position, you need to up you need up-to-date order and invoice information from eBay Business Suite and other customer applications, as well as Customer credit limit data, perhaps the party, like Dunn and Bradstreet. So you start your analysis by evaluating whether your customers are making use of their credit lines, and we'll summarize that by our sales regions. So the available credit by sales region is at the top left over here. You see that the West region has the most available credit. Let's filter on the West by clicking on that bar. Notice that the other visualizations respond dynamically and they change. You continue your exploration by focusing on the sales reps because they are your primary channels to your customers. By looking at the industry view, you can see that the healthcare segment is underutilized in their credit over here. However, before you encourage your sales teams to get those target accounts, you want to make sure that you're paying their bills. The age receivables by industry chart on the lower, lower bar chart, the over 30, 60, and 90 columns are for healthcare. If you look at our age receivables by industry, you'll see that the healthcare has excessive overdue receivables. While selling brings in revenue, it doesn't seem like it will bring more cash. Not good. Let's try this again in a more modern way, a more comprehensive way. This time you'll use machine learning, which uses simple algorithms to guide your decision making. For instance, Google takes advantage of machine learning to determine your best route to work and how long will it take. Just click on the prediction tab here. And this tab illustrates how the cloud analytics machine learning capabilities can assist, can assist in your research. So we look at this one right here. Let's consider 
which industry is the highest available credit. You see that the government and financial services are your obvious choice. We still don't want to encourage more sales with customers who have excessive past due accounts. So look at step two here. And so you run three predictive models that consider three things, customer lifetime value, on time payment performance, and predicted past due receivables. Your prediction is to find a collection of customers who will have available credit, be good payers, and have least overdue receivables. These customers will will buy more and pay for it. So what happened? So the good news is that overall there is more credit. And across our three models, you can see potential, but the customers target aren't the customers to target aren't popping out. You can see that the best customers but not whether they are good payers or have outstanding receivables. So you need a clear view into the intersection of all these factors to find the right target customers. So you look at these. The heat map is the answer. With the heat map you can see all four dimensions at once. Industries, customer value, payment profile, credit availability, past due exposure. And you can feel the heat in the sense that the darker colors indicate better customers. Each cell is a collection of customers. The darker areas show you a target customer. To show all the values in the bucket here. Let's see here. So we want to find the accounts with little or no um, accounts with no or little past due. So we scroll down to find those agents and look across all the industries for dark cells. Each cell is a matrix of customers, payments, profiles, and past due exposure. <clears throat> and by looking at the back at the graphs at the top, we can see the mix we can see the mix of our selections. So it depends on who you want to target. So we're not done yet. So step four right here. Remembering your business objective. You want to increase the revenue. So you, as you select each cell in the heat map, you're also filtering the sales pipeline for those customers that you can see predictive revenue impact. Lastly, you connected the projected sales data into its positive quota impact because you know that nothing motivates a sales force like achieving their quota. Now, you were able to do all this yourself connected to an internal and external data sources, even capture the real-time data. You viewed the data across departmental boundaries to make your analysis more persuasive. You discovered linkages and impacts that were not preconceived. Best of all, you eliminated dependencies on periodical extracts and in external organizations like IT. This is all made possible by Oracle Autonomous Database. Without that component, you are still tied to IT for support with these data sources and connections. You can obviously see the true impact that something like this could have. So to wrap it up, you're a hero. You address the business challenge of targeting specific clients and customers to increase your revenue and you also met your CFO's concerns about improving cash flow. And you're not done. You have to write an email about the sales leaders. So you click on the action tab and your sales managers respond to incentive. So you prepare this page and lay it out a lot for them. Then you copy the URL to this page and include it in an email. And they can have the full interactive experience by following the link to this page and exploring customers and each of the customers each of their reps can target. So this wraps up the demo I have for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this dynamic experience. 
In this environment, you can easily access the data on demand from any source, from past, current, and even predict the future. Thank you.